Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We've been getting a lot of questions lately about the towns we shoot in for these videos that we do. And I decided to do a whole series on the towns we shoot in. I'll give you a little background of all of them. And today, it's going to be on Harker's Border Town. They look real, don't they? Hello. <laughs> Is there something you want? No, I'm good, thanks. Go away. We at Arizona Ghost Riders are very fortunate to have some authentic western sets to film it. I decided over a year ago to get out of that headquarters room with its poor lighting and limited space and utilize the great Old West places we have here in Southern Arizona. Some of these locations include Old Tucson Studios, Trail Dust Town, and Harker's Border Town, which happen to be located here in Tucson. As we progress in the channel, it is my hope to be able to film in other western towns across the globe to give you all a taste of how other folks do it. Rick Harker built this Old West set back in 1990, and since then it's been a backdrop for photo shoots, music videos, and movies. It was also home to Explorer Post 6039, a division of the Boy Scouts focused on teaching stunts, acting, and history pertaining to the Old West. Border Town is exactly what the name implies, a rough town built with whatever materials were available. It's not a fancy town with a railroad, but more of an all-purpose town and trading post that served both sides of a blurry border. The set has a number of buildings and each one is a tiny museum inside, housing relics and other items pertinent to the business. Rick is always changing the place, making it even more useful as a movie set. Folks, we're here with Rick Harker and we're in his town, Rick and Penny's place. Now, there's been a lot of movies shot here, as well as Arizona Ghost Raiders videos. A lot of things have happened, changes have happened here at this town, including the center saloon, which you see here, it now has some facades on the front of it. What's that about, Rick? A lot of productions come into Tucson looking for small air, small sets like this, and uh, we want to give them uh, an opportunity to have more background with uh, their films, shoot their films. Uh, you mean like more building options? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so really, these right here, are not buildings at all. No, they're, they're just facades. They're just built fronts. around one okay. building. Cool, that's really smart. And this, uh, what size town is this? You, you told me once. Anywhere from half to three quarter scale. Three quarter, boy, it looks the right size. Well, with different camera angles, you can actually make it look a lot larger. The main cantina in the center of town is a large space that has been used for a saloon as well as home interior shots. For example, when the independent movie A Cry in the Night filmed segments there, it was primarily a saloon, yet in the far corner, a small kitchen and bedroom was made up for a pioneer home to be filmed later. Dirty Dan and Doreen have a business supplying props and wardrobe to dress a western set however it needs to look. Hey Slick. Hey, did you get the horses? Yeah. What about Dan? You see anything in Dirty Dan? Hey Dan, you coming out or are we going in? I'm coming out. Where's your horses? I'll get them. I asked for horses, I get a horses that I'm thankful that we have Rick's Western set and very excited to see what the future brings to Border Town. Well folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Really? I actually built it to, to have a place to play. <laughs>